Hello there boys and girls and welcome back to our brand new video. Today we will show you how to apply wax using a rotary polisher. I've received many questions about the application of wax, meaning can it be applied on the headlights, on tires, on plastic edges or glass? Well, of course it can. So stay tuned until the end of the video to learn how to actually apply the wax and when it's the proper time to wipe it off. The wax you see here, and if you can see clearly, is very greasy. And this wax can stay on the car up to six months. We will use the softest punch for this application mounted on the Rupert's DA rotary polisher. We will use the lowest speed setting the machine has, in this case, one. So can we apply the wax on the headlights or the glass? Well, of course we can. Use your finger to apply wax to the pad. Smear it in a little bit better. After this, just press the pad on several places on the car. And now turn on the machine and use light motions to apply the wax to the bodywork. In this video I will show you two different ways of how to remove the wax. The important thing to remember here is, when you're applying the wax, always do it in the shade and preferably in the temperature zones between 15 and 20 degrees Celsius. I will also explain the duration of time that you have to wait before wiping off the wax. It all depends on the manufacturer. Some waxes have to be wiped off immediately, some can even take up to 45 minutes. So in this particular situation, this wax needs to stay on the car at least 45 minutes. Or here's another example, if the wax is greasy on touch, you cannot wipe it off yet. And I will show you what a dried up wax actually looks like. Now, enjoy the rest of the video as I will continue on applying the wax to the rest of the car.
So here we are, ready to wipe off the wax. For this procedure, we will use the microfiber cloth and a control lamp. But now, the most important question, how will you know that the wax is ready to be wiped off? So basically, this wax is supposed to stay 45 minutes on the car, but to test out and to make sure that it's ready to be wiped off, all you really need to do is try to smear it with your finger. If it smears or if it is still greasy, then the wax is not dry and not ready to be taken off. The wax removing process itself is very straightforward. After we made sure that the wax is dry, all we have to do is take the microfiber cloth and use circular motions without applying almost any pressure at all to slowly remove the wax from the surface. You can probably see that the removal process itself is very quick. It is as quick as applying the wax using the circular polisher itself. So why use the circular polisher in the first place? Well, the reasons are simple. Time is one of them. You can apply the wax in a much quicker way. A very, very quick way. The second one is to avoid leaving holograms during the application of the wax. So now we will test the theory of no holograms on the bodywork with the test lamp. So if we look closer here using our test lamp, you can see there's no holograms on the panel itself. Now many people have this problem. They usually see holograms after wiping off the wax. And in most cases this happens because the wax hadn't dried yet. So it was still greasy and let's say alive. This makes the wax removal process much more difficult and thus during the removal process you might see hologram. So now we will continue removing the wax from the headlights, the glass areas, the ceilings, etc. And after that we will see the car as it is after we're finished with the removal process of the wax. So the headlights are easy to do. Very simple, just like the bodywork itself. But when we get to these plastic edges around the wheels, again, it's also easy to remove. You will not be seeing any white marks after removal, but my suggestion is to do these panels last. And when you do them, make sure to turn your microfiber cloth around so that you wouldn't have any rocks or any such debris in it that could potentially damage the bodywork. So if you look closer, it is also very easy to remove from the glass as well and from the B pillar. In this case though, the B pillar is matte painted, but you can still see the shine after the wax removal. So, boys and girls, let's move to the second method of wiping off the wax, or in this case, the machine wax removal. Now, wiping the wax off with the machine is actually very straightforward. You take your microfiber cloth, put it against the softest pad you have, and turn on your circular polisher to the lowest speed setting.
So as you can see, when we test this job under a testing lamp, the paint job looks wonderful even after machine wax removal. The shine is brutal to say the least. And um, yes, let's look at the car from the outside. I do hope that you enjoyed the video. As you have seen, the both ways that we use to wipe off the wax are very effective. You can see what the car looks like after one and the other. And this would conclude our video for today. Boys and girls, please like, comment, subscribe, share, ring the bell button. And uh, if you have any questions, I'm more than willing to answer them. Until next time, stay safe, take care, and goodbye, boys and girls.